Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the idea of quadratic equations. So the question says P and Q are real numbers where P cannot be equal to zero. P cube also cannot be equal to Q and minus Q, right? Further, it says two conditions, alpha plus beta is minus P, alpha cube plus beta cube that is given to us as Q. And it is asking us to find a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha by beta and beta by alpha. So let's find that first. So quadratic equation, if you know, it is given by x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots, right? And that's equal to c. So if I use that same idea to get here, it becomes x square minus sum of the roots is alpha by beta plus beta by alpha into x. Product of the roots, if you see, it is alpha by beta into beta by alpha. That is equal to 0. Now this and this cancels, this and this cancel. You are left with 1 here. Now further, if I solve this, this gives me x square minus. This becomes alpha square plus beta square upon alpha into beta x plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So this is the required quadratic equation we have. Now let's find alpha into beta as well as alpha square plus beta square. So if we find these two ideas, we'll get the entire quadratic equation that we need. Right? So let's find alpha beta and alpha square plus beta square. I have been given two things. Alpha plus beta is given minus p. Alpha q plus beta cube is given to me as q. So if I see the cube of the alpha plus beta, it is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab and a plus b. So further, I can write this as minus p is a whole cube. That is equal to alpha q plus beta cube, that is q plus 3 alpha into beta and alpha plus beta again is minus p. So what I get here is minus p q q and minus 3p alpha into beta. So further I can also write this as 3p alpha into beta is equal to p q plus q. So alpha into beta becomes p q plus q upon 3. So I get alpha into beta in terms of p and q now. So out of the two things required, we have already got the first thing that is alpha into beta. Now let's try to find alpha square plus beta square as well. So alpha square plus beta square if you want to find out. So a square plus b square if you need, if I write it as a plus b the whole square. What is a plus b the whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So I do not need 2ab. So I'll have to subtract. So I'm subtracting minus 2 alpha beta. Alpha plus beta was given minus p. So the square of minus p minus 2. Alpha into beta that is given to me as p q plus q upon 3. So that is minus 2 times out. p q plus q upon 3. If I solve this further, it becomes minus p the whole square. p square minus 2 p q plus q upon 3p. Now here I have 3p in the denominator for the second part, but I do not have denominator for the first part. So let's multiply 3p on both sides in the first part. So I have a common denominator now. Now it becomes 3pq minus 2pq minus 2q upon 3p. So that gives me pq minus 2q upon 3p. So this is the idea which we get for alpha square plus beta square as well. Now we have both of them with us. So let's just put both of these values in the quadratic equation and we can get the answer for the question asked. So let's find out. So if I know the quadratic equation that is given to us is x square minus alpha square plus beta square upon alpha into beta x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now alpha square plus beta square that is known to us that is p cube minus 2q upon 3p. So it is p cube minus 2q upon 3p 
and alpha into beta that is also known to us that was p cube plus q upon 3p so it is p cube plus q upon 3p into x plus 1 equals to 0 3p 3p gets cancelled on both sides right now i do not need this denominator here so what i'll do is i'll take here and here so it becomes p cube plus q x square minus p cube minus 2 q into x plus p cube plus q is equal to 0. so basically if you understand indirectly i am multiplying entire equation left and right side with p cube plus q because i was told that p cube is not equal to minus q so p cube plus q is not equal to zero so when it is not equal to zero i can multiply throughout my left and right hand side with p cube plus q so zero into something not zero will become zero but if i'm multiplying this both of this are not equal to zero so they will stay they will not become zero right so i can multiply throughout by p cube plus q so this is the answer which i'm getting for the equation and the option which matches here with the question is the second one so answer for the question becomes the second one right so answer here is b i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions i'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question thank you